Welcome to part 77 of Cyberpunk 2077, or I might as well just say welcome to Jackass, because today we're going to be playing a mission that pretty much solidifies V's gullibility. And you could completely skip this mission, by the way. I mean, you don't have to play it if you don't want to. But the thing is, about this mission... It's actually a callback of what happened earlier in part two, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. How much of a callback? Well, this is Stefan. You are going to have to talk to this street hustler. And of course, you are going to be fooled by the street hustler. You don't have to actually give him money. However, um, it's the only way to complete this mission. You don't have to, but at the same time, you have to for achievement purposes. And the game literally has this here to mock you. So, yeah, you're going to have to literally pay him 20,000 eddies just so that he can possibly sucker you into buying a faulty BD device and a faulty BD and yeah you would be a real idiot to fall for this oh by the way should anything happen to Stefan this mission will not be active and you want to know what happened to him because I wasn't able to activate this mission funny story Raven ship shot the dude before I could get to him no, they spawn in, killed him, and the mission was forever blocked. I don't know how the fuck they did it, but they did. It was a minor glitch in Cyberpunk, so there wasn't much I could do. But this is pretty much how you start this mission. You gotta pay 20,000 eddies, and you gotta play the brain dance. which, if what happened at Red, Red Queen's Waste... Wasn't any indication. Putting on random brain dances is beyond stupid. So yeah. I now have a new person to kill after all of this is over. And I will kill him. I promise you, I will kill him. But for the time being, ladies and gents. We are practically stuck in, well, the worst possible scenario. Hey, remember I told you that Johnny Silverhand's shirt cannot be removed? Well, uh, that's also holding true. His shirt cannot be removed at all. And also, if I would have actually did the completed chipping in first, neither would his gun. Yeah, I would have limited ammo, but hey, it would be better that I have limited ammo and escape than nothing at all. Yeah, that's right. My wares was stolen. They're in this area, hidden away by Raven Shiv. Not, no, not Raven Shivs. No, Scaffs. That's even worse than Raven Shivs. And more importantly, I'm being berated by Johnny. Ah, Jesus Christ. And you thought I was joking. My cyberware, all the uh, actual equipment to the cyberware, gone. Yeah, my gorilla arms are basic gorilla arms. I am practically bottomless. And I just pretty much screwed myself. Oh, wait, I should have picked up that machete. That would have helped, too. That really would have helped. Oh, yeah, my eddies are gone, too. So, yeah, I have... Nothing. I don't know why I didn't pick up that machete. That would have really helped me out right there. But at least I have my invinc my invisibility. I should actually have activated it. Didn't think about it at the time. Oh, right. I can't actually use my quick hacks. Damn. Just damn. All right. We're going to start snapping some people's necks. Well, 
Not really, I'm gonna put you to sleep. And I'm gonna snap your neck, motherfucker. Or I'm just gonna put you to sleep, whichever one comes first. So, unfortunately for you, the only way for you to even remotely get any sort of gun is you gotta pick it up from all the dead bodies here. Yeah. And the one gun you really need to get is in the locker over here. But first, let's make sure we uh, put that shift. I mean, scavenger. God, I keep mixing up my uh, enemies here. Let's put the scavenger to bed. Ah, yes. Snap, crackle, pop. Oh, and there's a sight there, too. By the way, I think it's not this computer, but the computer in the next room. The computer in the next room is basically telling you about how it's kind of a coincidence that she's here. Oh, right. Oh, and that's a... That's an advertisement. It's not this computer, it's the other one in the other room. But for right now, let's sneak in this room uh -huh. here. Yeah, yeah, I got you. It is you this one over No, it's not a, that's not a computer, but never mind. Sure, yeah, you only want Snap your neck. Boom! Done. And got some ninjutsu because of it. Yeah, I don't have any pants. Still don't have any pants. Got shoes, but no pants. And I lost my Sundostavan. No! Yeah, they have that too. Alright. <sighs> we know where the locker is. It's right in front of the goons. We just gotta get it. And afterwards, we could cause mayhem. All right, I forgot that's there. So, I guess I could snap next. I should at least use my invisibility. I thought I did. Grab your stuff, you fool! Oh, you idiot! You deserve death! Your stuff was right there! Ah, god damn it. I'll be back. Ah, god have mercy on my soul. By the way, this is the computer in question. And also, this is, uh... This is basically the, uh, special customer. Wow, they just sold me, man. That's ridiculous. All right, uh -huh. let's uh -huh. go back to yeah, where we yeah. were. We were right here at this point, killing her too. And now I think there was somebody in the bathroom. I caught him out of the glimpse of my eye and yeah, unfortunately I have no pants still. Don't flag me, YouTube. I'm gonna have to get some weapons here. This'll do fine. And I guess this will have to do as well. For now, we're going to have to deal with that. No, no, no. Don't put that on there. Do not put that on there. Ah, you're an idiot. I was going to get other sights when I get my stuff back anyway. Pretty sure there was somebody. I heard somebody. Oh, wait, no. There's nothing here. I thought there was something here, but there isn't. Uh, wait, there is somebody here. And he was taking a piss! Ha 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 That's the second time I did that. That's fucking hilarious. Poor Sap didn't even know what hit him. That's the whole point. Now then... If my invisibility still works, I should have just snuck past him and just grabbed my shit and start going on a rampage. In fact, why don't I do that? <clears throat> I 
Let me just grab my stuff. Oh, by the way, my most important stuff is all locked away in my car. Hold on, let's wait till she is out of the way. And I'm going to snap her puny little neck too. So, let's just grab this too. By the way, at this stage... Oh, wait, she dropped pants! Oh, thank God. I'm finally not going to be age-restricted. Oh, there's grenades. I am definitely going to enjoy that. And I'm back to square one, but that's all right. Here's what I'm about to do. <clears throat> Should have asked if he hadn't used hypos for... Yeah. Um. Not now, Johnny. I'm trying to get my stuff back. Don't need the commentary from Emo Johnny. Uh, let's just snap his neck. I am invisible, so... And I got a machete, and I know how to use it. Let's grab him. Kill him. Done. Uh-oh. My invisibility is about to wear off. Well, there that goes. Oh, shit. Well, did I get my stuff or not? Apparently not. Um, I need to go back and get my shit. It's basically leftover guns. Well, actually, no, it's not leftover guns. It's clothes. All my guns are in the trunk of the car. Yeah. Suffer, you little bitches. I'll be grabbing this. Oh, wait. Hey, you. Anybody else? Well, I still need to go grab my stuff. And I gotta go say hello to these pricks. And by doing so, they gave me one of these little babies. Ha ha! This will actually save your life. And there was something rare there, too. I could always come back here, you know. I know where the place is now. That's rare. I'm going to practically remove all that stuff and bring high-powered stuff and buy some more high-powered stuff later. But normally, this particular mention would actually be uh, a high... Like a high level mission or a dangerously high mission because you're not going to have any weapons at all. But since I've murdered pretty much everybody here, it's actually a low mission because I'm now at the level. Actually, no, it was moderate, really. Because I'm at level 40. But once I beat this, it doesn't matter. Ew, I just picked up disgusting rancid lunch. Uh, whatever. Stefan's not too far from here. Let's go say hi to the prick. And then blow his brains out. Well, well, looks like fortune favors. Ah, yes. Now what? I'm gonna ask for a refund. It's time for me to get that refund. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to leave this beauty of a mounted machine gun in the care of the ground, because unfortunately. I can't carry this damn thing in my car. Oh, but I can carry a light machine gun, no problem. Honest to God, why didn't I buy a light machine gun earlier on in the uh, prologue of the game? That would have really helped me out. Hey, you guys got a problem with me? I'll blast your fucking brains out. And, yeah... I'm just going to uh, eradicate any witnesses here. And die. Let's see what you've dropped. Yeah, I'm going to throw that in the back of the trunk. But that's okay. Because now comes the best part. I'm going to have to chase down that dude who's right up the street. Let's go get my car. 
It's a good thing I went there and put all of my good shit in the trunk. It definitely helps. Oh, and if, again, if I had Johnny Silverhand's gun, I would have had that and probably would have blasted some people once I got enough ammo to do so. So practically anything that will stick to your hand or stick onto your body like Johnny Silverhand's outfits, you'll probably be in better shape if you had his complete outfit, like his boots and his pants, which will give you a ridiculous boots and his jackets too. You would probably be in better shape if you had that. When I played this, I did not get uh, chipping in, so... Oh, great, I warned this issue because I accidentally ran over something. But it's okay, that warrant is going to be gone in just a few minutes. And so will Stefan, once I get my 20,000 eddies back. But yes, this mission was pretty much a quick reminder, and it comes near the end of the game anyway, that uh, V is as gullible as ever. And she was gullible enough to take that Kompeki Plaza job and fail miserably, which is how she got Johnny Silverhand in her head in the first place. It's pretty much supposed to be symbolic, but also, again, it had to be completed for, well, achievement purposes. Yeah, thankfully this game has a new game plus now, unlike before when it didn't. So if, all, if by all means I go for a new game plus, by all means I'll have everything I need. But for right now, the only thing I'm waiting for is for Stefan to appear. God have mercy, where the hell are you? I am going to put a bullet in your head. Where are you? Ah. Uh, of course he's not here. All right, all right, all right, I'll bite. I deserve this. Oh, he just popped in. Come on, stand up. Stand up and be surprised. Yep, there I am. With a gun in hand. With your name on it. Actually, no, the bullet's with your name on it, not the gun. Save your breath. You conned me. You knew what you were doing. Now then. I do, though? I will get my refund, and you are going to get yours. <clears throat> but no matter what you say, Stefan has is going to run away, regardless. But it both top, but, but both options is a threat. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm sorry, I'm stuttering here. Both options is a threat, and Stefan is going to get the fuck out of Dodge if he knows what's good for him. And yeah, I did not jump cut. The game did that for me. Because again, that part with dialogue glitched. And unfortunately, I was gonna kill the dude. Ah, uh, damn it. You know what? No, I'll just keep the gun. And then his death glitched. I shot him in the head and he glitched. That's basically the game's fault right there. But ladies and gentlemen, we'll be going to part 78, probably finishing off Rogue, if anything doesn't happen. I'll see you guys next time.